everyone, this is A.V. and I'm coming to you today with another uh, makeup haul. But this is one pertain main, uh, really for my makeup kit. So I, I'm going to be showcasing uh, a website called Cosmetics. And I ordered from this site. Cosmetics is pretty much a uh, online beauty supplier uh, and this sells all types of uh supplies not only for makeup artists but for hairstylists nail technicians um estheticians i mean pretty much anybody could order from this site or if you do like uh, skincare you could buy bottles and stuff so they have a lot of variety for that website which i really love and the prices are really uh, reasonable in my opinion and you can buy in bulk as well which i like because sometimes it's just hard trying to find certain things for makeup artists especially a variety of things but i'll get into that more later and i'm also going to sh uh, show you some stuff from ik house that i ordered like two days ago so i must start first i'm gonna start off um with uh, i got these uh flip cap bottles and this is what they look like and that's the glare so i'll take it out so I got these little squeezy tubes because I wanted to uh, transfer some liquid foundations that I just recently purchased for my uh, my uh, kit. But um, I didn't realize that they were these small and I really need a tiny funnel to be able to put the foundation in. But I thought these would really be good for, um, for my kit because they won't bog. Uh, the bottles that my foundations are in, they're in a glass bottle, and they're really heavy, so that will really weigh my kit down. And if I just put even just a little bit in here, this will be good to use um, just to squeeze out, and then um, and it'll keep a mess, and it'll also keep everything sanitized, too. So I got these, and I think I paid, I got 10 of these, and I think I paid, I don't even think, it was like $5 for all of them. Okay. So the next thing that I got are the, um, and what I like about cosmetics, they put everything in these baggies with uh, the name and the number. So if I want to go back and reorder, I can go check and look at this bag. So I got the dual ended round point, point tips uh, cotton swabs. And I got these just to have for cleaning up um, under the eyes or say if I have to clean up under the mouth or something, I can use these. So I got, I think these were only a dollar for both of these. So we got those. Then I picked up three brushes. Two of the brushes are pretty much the same. So I first, the first one I got is the Taper Eyeshadow Crease Brush. And all of, all of these brushes that I have are uh, very soft. And um, I wouldn't use this like to blend because most people's eyes are not that big. But I'll use this for putting uh, eyeshadow bases on. And I will I can also use this for uh, blending out under eye highlights too. And the same brush, I got um, pretty much the same brush. But this one is angled, which is cool. And I'll use this. And this is a little bit more fluffier too. And I'll definitely use this again probably for uh, cleaning up, you know, spot concealing and under under eye highlights and stuff like that. So, And then I got this big tapered uh, blending, oh, their blending brush. And I love this because I have a, one similar from BH Cosmetics. And it's I have a smaller one that's like a Sonya Kashuk. But this is really good. I like using this for when I highlight my face. You can also use it for contouring as well and blending it out. And these type of brushes blend everything so well. So I wanted to get another one and I wanted to get one for my kit. And it's so soft, you guys. So, got this. <laughs> okay. So next couple things I'm going to show you. So then I picked up these two uh, eyelash... Uh, holders or whatever you call them um, eyelash applicators and makeup by Lana baby I looked at her video before ordering and she said these really help her with placing her eyelashes on and I also wanted to get these for my clients and these were only a dollar each I think I don't know I'm just going based off memory and then I did pick up two eyelash curlers that's what it looks like you don't really see that and then on to 
I also picked up. What did I do with it? It was a. It's called um, stippling sponge, um, square, and these are good for special effects if you want to make a beard. And I also uh, read that you can use this for blending out stuff. So I wanted to try these to see how these would work how I can um, implement these in my kit. But also I wanted to just try out a little bit of special effects stuff on myself and see if I like doing that. So yeah, I did that. And then I also got some more of these six piece, six piece hex sponges. And uh, pretty much these, it came like this. And I got three blocks. And I think each block is like 50 cent. And so, these are really good. These are good multi-use um, latex-free sponges for uh, putting product under the eye, uh, blending stuff out. So I, I wish I would have got more too. So I got those. What else did I get? So everything else I'm going to show are applicators. And so what I really, uh, disposable applicators, because I really needed a lot because I have a lot of things coming up soon. Um, and I know with mascara wands and stuff, you can only use those once. So I wanted to kind of double up. So the first mascara wands, and the only thing about these bags, how they tape them, it's hard to get them out. So the first one, I got this curved uh, mascara wand. And then I heard these are really good for lashes, uh, for uh, you know, really getting under there and using mascara. So I got that. I got like 50 of those. And I'm going to also show you how I house my disposables too to keep them uh, sanitized. And then I got the large taper head uh, mascara one. And I'll, so this is what that looks like. And I really needed some different, uh, uh, different types of, um, mascara ones because the ones I had are the ones I just got from the store and I don't think they really did a good job with you know building the lash up and then the next ones that I'm really excited that I can use these are the spirit shape and these are good for the lower lash line so isn't that cool you guys and I need to hurry up so I can show y'all that and then I also uh then then um and then I got one more of mascara ones that I'm going to show you. And then I got these. These are the spiral. And they're also like kind of. So yeah, you can definitely. You can't really see it. but So yeah, spiral. So really good for building that lash up for, for your clients who don't want, um, Lashes is good, you know, to build a lash up. And last but not least, I got some lip products, some lip wands. So I got a lip brush because sometimes it's easier just to use these than having a regular makeup brush. And you have to clean those in between clients. So I got that. So this here's one lip brush that I can use. And I really like using these because these blend like really good. And then I just got a doe foot applicator. This is a standard, and I wish I would have got more now, cause I thought I already had some doe foot um, lip gloss and lipstick applicators, but I don't. I'll show you the ones I have. So before I end this video, I just wanted to show you. I these are this is how uh, um, I store my applicators and stuff. So I'll open it for you. So here, um, these right here are, and I talked about this in one of my makeup kit, the last video I did. Um, but for lipstick wands, you could use the caps. These are some spatulas for picking up stuff. And then these are the different applicators. So this is how, and this is just a fish tool box that I got from Walmart for $5. And it's really small and compact, and it keeps everything uh, sanitized, and it keeps... Um, it also keeps uh, everything organized, which I really love. So if I'm in a rush, I'm like, where am I? Where is this? Where is that? I could just pick it out the box. So that's what I really love. But I bought some bigger ones, um, but I don't know how I'm going to use it. I might think I might use them for, like, weddings or something. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 
make sure you thumbs up you subscribe um make sure you check out my plus size uh bathing suit haul um go over there and check that out i'll make sure i leave that link it below and my other kit haul as well so if you're enjoying these videos about you know my makeup artist kit and if you have any questions just let me know um so yeah until next time peace